Hi, I'm Tamara Chung, a reporter at the Orange County Register, and I have here today with me Bobby Blevin. He's from Microsoft. He works in the Irvine office of Microsoft, but he's also one of the Vista specialists. And he came here today to show us what's so cool about this new operating system. So tell us, Bobby. All right, Tamara, I'm going to show you six very, very cool things about Vista. I'm going to start with the search feature first. So notice here the new start menu. If I wanted to find something, I could simply type in finance, and it's going to pull up all my documents. Maybe there's emails that I have related to this. So I'm going to be very quickly be able to find the information on my computer, which has been a huge problem in the past. The second feature I wanted to show you is Arrow. Now, a lot of us work with a lot of different applications open up at once. So I'm going to open up several applications. And if you notice, if I hover down below, I'm actually getting a preview of exactly what's going on with that application. Now, a lot of us also use Alt-Tab. So if I click Alt-Tab, here we can actually get a live preview of what's going on with that application. It's going to be much easier to switch between applications. Also notice there's moving video there as well. Very cool. Now, I don't even really use Alt-Tab anymore because there's a new feature called Flip 3D that if I hold down my Windows key and tab, here is a way that makes it even easier to flip through applications. The next feature I wanted to show you is parental control. So I am going to log on as Toby. And we'll just pretend Toby is my fictional son. First thing I'm able to do with parental controls is if I click here and go to games, here Toby has access to a lot of games, but maybe I don't want him learning about stealing cars or something like that. So I've actually blocked off Grand Theft Auto. If he tries to click on it, there's parental control. Now the parental controls actually go further than this. So I'm going to log off as Toby and back on as myself, and I will show you how easy it is to set up these parental controls in Vista. So here, if I want to set up parental controls, I can simply click on On, as well as Activity Reporting, which I'm going to show you in a second. You really can get a view of what your kids are doing on your machines. Um, Windows Web Filter. So here, I can block sites that have unrateable content, mature content, for instance, pornography, drugs. I can simply block those by clicking on here. Another problem is sometimes kids are getting on when you're not around, and maybe you want to block them from even logging onto the computer. So here you can see that I can easily set up what times Toby is allowed to log on and which times he's not. Something else I wanted to talk to you about is, is something we've put into Vista now is an anti-phishing filter. In Vista, Internet Explorer runs in, in protected mode, which means it does not have access to protected areas of the operating system. But back to the phishing filter, here you can see this is a legitimate site, so I can feel comfortable putting in my information. If I want to view their certificate, I can. But let's say I get an email from Contoso Bank, and it says it wants to confirm my bank record, so I'm going to click on that. Notice that this is a confirmed phishing site. So it's not even letting me go there. It's protecting me before I even go onto that site and type in a social security number or a credit card number or something like this. All right, now another question I get quite a bit is, well, when I go to Vista, how difficult is it going to be to learn the new functions and features? So let's say that I want to do something as simple as figure out how to remove these icons here or the ones that are unused. And I don't know how to do that. So notice here I can type in icons tray. And I have two choices. I can have guided help show me step by step if I actually wanted to learn how to do this myself. So I'll click on there. And you can see that it's nice. Even if I click on the wrong thing, it's going to say try again. And so I can click through this. Or maybe if I don't want to do it myself, I could simply click on do it automatically. And you could see that I don't even have to have my hands on the computer. It's actually going to go through and do that automatically for me. All right, so the last thing is that I want to show you a shadow copy. So I don't know if you've ever been up really late at night and you're uh, working on a document and you go ahead and open it and you inadvertently maybe make a change that you didn't want to that you didn't want to make. In Vista, using Shadow Copy, I can simply restore previous versions. Here's my previous version that I have. Click Restore, and now all those changes I made have been undone. And so is that only for Word files, or? No, it would be for Excel, every Word files, ev okay. every, every, um, every file. Every file that's been changed, you can you can. What about that. video, music? Yes, absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Nice. Well, Bobby, thank, thank you so much for stopping by and showing us this demo. We'll be, re we'll be released to consumers at uh, the, the end of this month, very okay. end of this month. Great. Thanks a lot, Bobby. You betcha.